My name is Jenny Batchelor. I'm, I'm Professor of 18th Century Studies at the University of Kent. Covid crafting is a very, very uh, popular, uh, frequently trending hashtag on Twitter and Instagram these days. And that's because, of course, so many of us, myself included, are trying to accommodate ourselves to this new reality of Covid and the stresses and strains it brings, the boredom, the loneliness of lockdown, the tedium of lockdown, the repetitiveness of lockdown. I've been working for, well, seven years or so on a, a fascinating publication called The Ladies Magazine, a hugely popular a monthly magazine for women, I would certainly argue the first recognisably modern women's magazine that starts publication in 1770 and runs through to 1832. We can't be entirely sure um, exactly how many people read the magazine or subscribe to it, but our best guess is about, at the height of its popularity, around 10 to 15,000 copies a month. A novel like Sense and Sensibility was published in a pretty standard print run of 750 copies. So this is like hugely, hugely, this is mass media really. My name is Alison Larkin. I'm an embroiderer. When Jenny posted pictures of the patterns that she had found in the ladies magazine I pounced on them because this was real Georgian embroidery patterns they were authentic patterns could I you know what could I do with them and we were talking about ideas about getting the patterns out there and how we might spread the word and the idea of the book came out Jane Austen embroidery and it, it yes it came out about two weeks before lockdown in the end and embroidery has been an absolute godsend I know of a lot of friends in the in embroidery circles who have been using embroidery as a way of coping with lockdown. We've had some really wonderful responses to the projects in the books. We're finding that people are, are approaching the patterns now with creativity and flexibility. So one of my favourite examples recently is someone who um, in, in the US um, who has been taking some of the motifs from some of the patterns and, and putting them on COVID masks personalising their COVID mask with a ladies magazine pattern from 200 years ago. I mean, I just, I absolutely love it. My name is Susan Bennett and I'm a headshot photographer based in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, like a lot of Americans, I have not been able to work since March. My business has been entirely closed and I found myself at home really worrying a lot and leading a very quiet and confined life, as Jane would say. I ordered the book right away. I had not done any embroidery in probably eight to 10 years. I think the thing that's so exciting is feeling more connected to Jane Austen, like these are patterns she may have worked on. And I really want to thank Jenny and Allison for doing the work to put this together in a format that we can use. I had felt for a while that I wanted to create 3D embroidered flowers in pots and one of the ladies magazine templates was perfect for an 18th century inspired pot for my embroidered paper poppies. I now make auricular pot plants which are proving really popular, even more so during the pandemic. One of the wonderful things about, about needlework, about other forms of craft and about making is it feels like you're putting something together when the sounds are shifting under your feet and things are breaking down. We're sort of making a new community around the magazine, this wonderful coming together of people who are making and recreating these patterns 200 to 250 years after their first publication right now and I think that's just, that's just wonderful and very much in the spirit of the magazine itself.